modulation we often hear this word when speaking about communication systems it is a simple concept often overlooked or misunderstood but very important to understand since it forms the base for wireless communications in this video we will see what is modulation its basic types and importance of modulation Generally when we describe a signal we talk about its three important characteristics frequency amplitude and phase modulation is a simple process in which a carrier signal of constant phase frequency and amplitude is modified by nonlinear input signal as a result we will have a signal output which changes its characteristics corresponding with modulating signal In most wireless communication systems audio signal of frequency ranging from 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz will be used as modulating signal. Now let's take a look at the three basic types of modulation. Frequency modulation. In this type of modulation frequency of the carrier signal will be altered with respect to modulating signal. As a result we will obtain modified frequency signal in output. Amplitude modulation. Here amplitude of carrier signal will be altered with respect to modulating signal and we will get amplitude modified signal as output. Phase modulation. Phase of the carrier signal will be modified in this method and we will obtain phase modified signal in the output. Apart from these three there are many other modulation techniques like DSP, SSP, VSB, QAM, ASK FSK, PSK and much more. Let's take a look at the three main advantages of modulation. Number 1, to transmit the signal to long distances. Low frequency signals like audio or any other signals are incapable of propagating to long distance on their own. When modulating them with a high frequency carrier signal, the modulated output will obtain high frequency characteristics. and as a result it can propagate longer and in turn provides more range to the user modulation works the same way as paper and stone where the high frequency carrier signal provides the ability to reach longer distance for audio signal number 2 to reduce the size of antenna antennas are used to propagate the signals into atmosphere consider an unmodulated audio signal of frequency 20 kilohertz The antenna height for propagating this signal would be of 3.75 km and it's totally impossible to build such antenna. However, if you modulate them to 1 MHz then you need an antenna of 7.5 m only. That is totally possible. Number 3. Avoid mixing of signals. We all know that frequency of audio signal ranges from 20 Hz to 20 kHz. So if two devices send out unmodulated audio signals it will result in mixing and eventually the receiver will receive some gibberish audio which will be of no use but when modulated signal from device 1 and 2 will propagate in individual reserved bands and therefore preventing the audio signals from mixing 